Greetings again, 405th, uh, Eva Kira here again, and uh, aka Phil Schinner. It was brought to my attention, uh, someone wanted to know how to make detail lines. So I'm going to go over that today. I have two pieces in front of me, uh, one that already has the detail line and one that does not yet. It just has the uh, drawing for the detail line. And the reason why I did this is to bring up uh, kind of an important fact. Uh, if you plan on heat forming your EVA, you want to do your detail lines after you have done the, the heat forming. And the reason why is because, as in you see here, this one here has the lines already done, but as you heat form it, it spreads the lines apart and you now have a big white gap. So, with that being said, I have already heat formed this one and have drawn the design I want to make, and I will show you how I do the detail lines. Once again, I use a box cutter knife. It just gives me more control. I get closer down to the EVA. I can put my fingers down to control the depth. And I just, on the outside of the line, I trace the line at a 45 degree angle. Now the downside of this, obviously, is that once it's heat formed, it's in an angle and it's a little bit harder to do than on a flat piece of foam. But it's just one of the things you have to deal with to get a nice good crisp line. Obviously you just want to go just a little ways into the foam. You don't want to go gouging into it too deep. Unless of course you want a really really big detail line. But remember that once you apply heat to this to make a the detail line I guess uh, the best word would be more crisp. Uh, it will spread apart a little bit. Planning on making a couple other videos here. I uh, might be able to segment it into this one or not. I'm not sure. It depends on how long this one runs for. <clears throat> but I do want to go over uh, some basic electronics as well as uh, how I use a Dremel. So kind of stay tuned for those guys. So now I've got the, uh, the whole perimeter cut. And I'll just do a really, really light line on it. Again, I'm basically just dragging the, the blade through just to make sure that it's, it's reached the other side. And then I'll pluck the piece out. And yes, I said pluck. Okay, so rough cut, not perfect, but you get the idea. This is the piece that has the design cut into it. Now what's going to happen is what I call the magic time. When you apply the heat from the heat gun, it will start to spread out. <coughs> you design more. And there it is. Not much heat, but you can also see that it doesn't have the spread that this one does. You have a nice, clean, crisp detail line. Let me check the time on the video here. I have no idea. I'm at five minutes, I think it is. Yeah, let's just keep it there, and I'll go ahead and uh, make another video on the Dremel. And the pieces that I use with my Dremel, the main pieces and how I use them, and also into some basic electronics. So stay tuned for that, and I'll get back to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.